Hi, welcome back. So, um, a little while ago when they dropped the price, I picked up a PSVR. Uh, wanted to see what it was like for general gaming um, and also principally for uh, racing titles. I know support is not brilliant on the PS4, uh, but I wanted to take a look at it anyway and, and see what it was like, see what we were getting effectively. So I'm going to take a look at the racing titles that are on um, PS4 that support PSVR. Uh, we'll take a look at each of them in turn. We'll talk about the pros, the cons, etc. Um, so yeah, let's kick off with uh, GTS in VR. Okay, so GTS in VR. Uh, first of all, the uh, pros, it does look really good. The car models are superbly done. They really are. Um, so, it, yeah, it looks stunning. Just sitting in the car, looking around the cabin is absolutely brilliant. It really is. Um, there's a lot of detail in here. Of, um, the main racing titles on PS4, it's easily one of the most polished in that regard. Um, the tracks look pretty good. It doesn't have too much of the distance checkerboard and the blurring. Um, so it's quite clearly running a lot better than um, some of the other titles we'll talk, talk about in that regard. Um, you've got the entire car model. You can look around, you can really have a good look around the interior of the car. One thing I did test on um, all of the titles, and uh, we'll talk about it on each of them as we go through it, is how far you could impose on the boundaries of the car. Um, and I really want to look at this for things like when you've got an open top car, so um, something like the KTM for example in GTA, GTS, could you actually lean your head out the window so to speak and still get a good view around it? Um, and what I found most titles do, uh, and GTS is included in this, is as you start impeding on the boundary of the car it blacks out. Um, and that's understandable to a degree, but I wish they'd let us do a bit more when it comes to stuff like the um, KTM. So uh, overall, really good package, really adds to um, GTS for me, which is a title I'm not overly enamoured with, as a lot of you will know. It, it's okay, but it, it doesn't float my boat perfectly. Um, the cons. Oh, sorry. Final plus of GTS, it's a free freebie. Okay, you've got GTS, you've got... VR, you don't have to pay anything extra for it. Um, the cons, however, are mainly down to the fact that whilst it adds a lot to GTS, it's still GTS, so it's got the limitations that I find to trouble me, um, but more importantly it's very feature limited. You've effectively got um, a look around the car in a garage environment, which is okay but a bit stilted, uh, and I actually found that with all of the look around the car modes in these. Um, you're then limited to time trial and one versus one racing, which really does limit the scope. And if, like for me, it's the main draw into GTS is the VR, you're not going to find yourself earning money at any appreciable rate. So really, you got to just knock up 26 miles, get your freebie car, cross your fingers and hope it's something interesting. It um, comes across in a lot of ways as a really impressive tech demo, uh, more than a fully rounded feature of GTS. Very impressive, but not really a full package. So that's GTS. Uh, onwards, what have we got next? Well, up next we have um, Drive Club. So Drive Club is a... Uh, Extra, you have to buy VR Drive Club. It's basically a standalone game. It's got most, but not all, of the uh, tracks from the core game in there, all of the cars in there. Um, it's an impressively put together package from a UI point of view. So you get some nice floating menus in it, which uh, look quite impressive. You can have a look around the car in a similar way to GTS. It's not quite as detailed as it is in GTS but you can still do it. Um, a lot of the lighting is dumbed down, um, the resolution is clearly a hell of a lot lower, um, the weather effects are gone as well so it is quite stripped down in that way. It doesn't look as good as GTS, that is patently clear. Um, but the one thing I did like is you can have a really good look around the cars again. And in this time you can actually 
exceed the boundaries of the card. It's the only one of the titles we're talking about that you can do that with. That does lead to a bit weird, um, I'm pushing my head through a car door, if it's a, you know, a closed top car of any description. But with the open top stuff like the Caterham, uh, you can stick your head right out. So you can actually lean your head right out as you're driving down the road, which... Um, yeah, I'm a big kid. I enjoy that kind of silliness, but it was a good test to see what the limits of the VR were. The main thing, as I say, you've got the vast majority of Drive Club recreated um, in Drive Club VR. You lose the weather effects, you lose some of the tracks, as I say, um, but you can actually race in here. Yeah, up the, you've got six cars racing, racing against the AI, and this really does make a difference to me. I can live with the lower resolution. I can live with the smeary edges when you look out into the distance and the difficulty seeing corners approaching. You know, that it's annoying, but the fact that you can actually race against other cars in here, AI or not, doesn't make a blind bit of difference. That's what I really enjoyed about this and really do enjoy and what elevates it into a game above the tech demo feel I got from GTS, so that's Drive Club. Thumbs up, I enjoyed it. Next, we have Dirt Rally. Um, now, Dirt Rally, again, this is a payable one. You're not getting this one as a freebie, unfortunately. Um, and when you buy it, you just go into Dirt Rally and you activate VR mode. And once you activate VR mode, um, this is the thing I was really impressed with um, with regard to Dirt Rally. Once you do that, everything, absolutely everything that is in the core game is here for you in VR. The entire lot. So this is a fully featured game. And in that regard, it bests both Drive Club and GTS. You've got the weather effects. You've got day, you've got night, you've got the rally cross with five other cars on track with you, and oh boy is that fun um, the rally cross I wish was just so much bigger because of how enjoyable it is in the rally it, it really is excellent in that regard, the rally stages, VR just makes them so much better you get a proper sense of the elevation changes, the narrowness of the track, but weirdly it's actually I find it easier to drive because you've got a better sense of where the car is in the road when you're in that VR environment as opposed to looking at a flat screen. Um, and things like handbrake turns around hairpins, it's actually far easier to judge them in VR than it is just on that flat 2D screen. Um, it is a bit blurry, um, so it suffers from that kind of image degradation that GTS doesn't suffer from as badly when you compare it to the, the core game, i.e. the non-VR version, um, but Drive Club suffers from. You've got that in here. does make driving in the rain and um, the other inclement weather trickier than arguably it should be, but you know, adds to the challenge of... Um, rally but it is a noticeable downgrade in graphics um, one interesting thing um, looking behind you is a bit odd because one of the compromises they have made is they've effectively sliced the back of the car off um, so you're actually weirdly only really driving the front half of the car from the seat back you're sat in forward um, to be honest yes it is a little bit odd um, um, but you're not looking behind you that much, so you lose some of that visual impressiveness that you get from um, GTS. And yeah, that oddness when you look behind you and there's bugger all there, but a kind of weird grid. Um, but still, the interiors of the car are extremely well done, and it does bring home some things like with the Stratos, just how small and narrow the damn thing was. Um, one thing I don't like uh, about Dirt Rally, um, aside obviously from the visual degradation, which you know, does make it a tad more tricky, particularly in the Welsh forests, um, one of the things I don't like is there's no ability to turn off the um, closing your eyes moment when you're having a crash. If you're having a full-blown, I'm dying off the road, I can, I can kind of live with that. 
but if you're not, um, then it does become a bit tricky because your eyes start closing a little bit, uh, which is um, it's it's distracting. Um, and I wish you could turn it off. I understand why it's there, motion sickness and all of that, but I really do wish you could turn it off. But, uh, Dirt Rally, it's, yeah, it's good. Um, in fact, being perfectly honest, of the three we've looked at so far, it's my pick. But it's not my pick of racing title in VR on the PS4. That's what we're going to look at next. So, as you can see, um, it's Wipeout. Wipeout VR. Now, I know some of you may at this point be going, yeah, it's no proper racing game. Well, yes, it is. Um, you may have a preference for sim or arcade or sim stroke arcade or whatever you want to call them, racing games, which have real cars, in quote mark, in them. And that's absolutely fine. And if that's your preference and you don't you know, fancy anything beyond that, please switch the video off now just hit stop right now and consider what i've said about the other three to be the end of it put your comments in anything you want blah 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 if however you are like me um quite into stuff beyond that keep watching because it's worth it um wipeout is on the ps4 the single most polished racing title there is in vr um you get everything in there for a start. It is the entire Wipeout package, the old PSP port, Wipeout 2048. You've got HD in here. You've got Fury in here. All of the tracks, all of the circuits, whatever you want to call them, all of the ships, they're all in here. You've now got this fully modelled interior cockpit, which again is absolutely brilliantly done. Um, they've even really well done the... Um, yeah, that is how you say that. They've really done well with how they put on the motion sickness stuff so the blinkers that come around they're kind of like shutters that appear around your cockpit if you want them so really nicely done plus the entire package all of the menus all done in vr so it is the complete package and as i say it's it's a freebie if you already own wipeout bang you've got this from day one they dropped it and it was absolutely stunning it plays incredibly well it's stupidly smooth it's really nicely detailed i mean in terms of visual fidelity and looks obviously it's a completely different subject matter but it looks as good as gts it really does and it is silky smooth when you're playing it which given the speed and the pace and the ferocity of what you're doing here is really important it would be horrific to play if it wasn't but you know you've got absolutely everything in here from a wipeout point of view the complete game it's absolutely free it looks great it plays great and you don't pay a penny for it so it's my choice of vr racing title on the ps4 now as i say yeah some of you may have continued watching even though you're still going who's vr uh, sorry it's wipeout um that's fine, that's fine. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but I wanted to look at racing titles on the PS4 and VR, and we don't exactly have a huge amount, so I've looked at all of the ones that I've got and played, and Wipeout is my pick. If we remove the pure fantasy arcade side of things from it and stick to racing titles with real world vehicles in them, in order, it would have to be Dirt Rally, followed by Drive Club, followed by GTS. Now, I'm, I know I'm putting GTS last, and that will upset a few people, or it'll be screaming, or oh, you're just biased against GTS. It looks stunning. It looks absolutely incredible. But it's a tech demo. Uh, it's too limited. If they opened up the rest of the game, if they were able to open up the rest of the game with more, then, yeah, it would start jumping ahead. But as it stands, it's too content light for me at the present moment um, to be you know, anything more than what I consider it to be as a tech demo in VR. The other two offer a much, much, much wider package in regard to that, and Wipeout crowns them all in my view. So that's a very quick look at VR racing titles on the PS4. Um, if you have liked this, hit the like button. If you want to leave some comments, please do leave the comments down below. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Bye.